Greetings barbers, I'm Ross from Dark Stag and today we'll be doing a side pompadour with a skin fade. So today we're doing a side pomp with a skin fade. My client's been growing his hair out for quite a while now. So again, we're going to start with the prominent hair growth pattern, which in this case is the crown. I'm just going to split that from the crown to the recession line to create a natural split. This is where the hard part is going to naturally want to sit to map out the first point of our haircut. So we've now disconnected the top panel of the section. We've got a lovely horseshoe shape around the side. I'm now going to put my first guide in and we're going to work around from one side to the next, keeping my knuckles close to the scalp as we're going for the skin fade. This is my block graduation guide for the whole haircut. On the back, using my dark stag scissors, DS pluses, we're going to start working around the haircut, maintain the length until the curvature of the head. Just removing some of that weight now. When we start get flashing this out, we're going to start creating some diagonal sections and start building up some weight. I'm using the Dark Stag six inch scissors. I'm using block graduation. We're not pushing the hair from the end of the blade, the V of the blade. We're using the last two quarters of the blade. We don't want to over direct the hair too much, pushing it that way. You're going to start building up too much weight. When it comes to tension, we're not going past the knuckle either. We're stopping on the second line, the finger is a knuckle. One for tension and two, we don't want to cut ourselves either. DS Plus Offset is available in six and seven inch, as well as the thin shears as well. I'm opting for the six inch today. I tend to use smaller scissors for more precise work. Larger scissors for scissor over comb, so whatever suits you as a barber. So we're now thinking about shape over length with my block graduation. When the head starts to curvature from the occipital to the ears, I want to create a nice horseshoe. From the ears forward, we can decide, do you want to go round with it or do you want to create graduation? So with a pompadour, we're creating graduation. Whatever comes out this way, it's going to stand up and fold it on itself that way. So we create a nice triangular shape, vertically and horizontally. Change the angle of the comb. And create a nice graduation. Leaving that front a little bit longer for the pompadour style. Blunt cutting today rather than too much texturizing. So I want to maintain a little bit of heaviness and shape to the hair. I don't want to break it up too much of these styles. We're still creating a little bit of an angle on that front. We want to sit slightly triangular through that corner, slightly squarer for over direction. And again, I'm using blunt cutting technique just to build up weight. I don't want to remove too much, too much weight as yet. So what blunt cutting does, it doesn't add any texture to the hair whatsoever. We're keeping it completely flush. And we're building up a little bit of weight and squareness to the hair. I don't want to break into it. So we're not point cutting the hair, which creates texture. We're keeping the hair nice and square. And we're coming straight across with it for bluntness and for heaviness. We're bringing everything into the center, which is technically a concave. I'm just going to create a slight triangular shape, just making sure everything marinates together. So after the scissor work is complete on the side, the perimeter, I've done a block graduation, I've done the top section, it's all blended through. So I'm not going to style the hair first before I do the clipper work at the end. The reason for it, I like to see the shape build up, how it looks visually, and then we'll finish off with the clipper work. So today I'm opting for the Dark Stag Light Shine Pomade. This works super, super well into the pompadour styles. So you can add a little bit of shine to that. And again, they are water soluble, so it's easy for the client to wash out as well. So a little barber tip. Sometimes I use the hair dryer just to blast it for 20 seconds. Or use your hands to rub it in. It will dissolve nicely, ready for the client's hair. Just finished blow drying the hair, so we're all prepped, ready for the sides. As you can see, the hair's already prepped. 
I've popped in the pomade on the pre-cut already, just to give it a little bit more of a hold. And we're now gonna complete the haircut with a skin fade around the sides. So we've just completed the, the skin fade using our Dark Sag DS six inch scissors. Just gonna do a little technique called picking. So I'm just gonna pick into the fade, the tips of the scissor, just to get rid of any fine lines or anything that looks a little bit heavier. So we're just now gonna soften down that blend a little bit more. I'm now using the Dark Stag DS Plus Thin Shears. They come with 32 teeth, using this to soften the blend down a little bit. We're coming in about three quarters of the hair's depth and we're just then pulling, pulling the hair out just to soften that down. We're not gonna shatter it too much. Okay, so that's the haircut complete. We've cut the top with our DS Dark Stag plus scissors. We've then created a nice skin fade shape, dropping it down towards the occipital bone. And the choice of product today was a Dark Stag pomade. The reason for that, I wanna create a little bit of shine and it gives a little bit of structure to the hair when I'm styling it as well. I don't want it to be too floppy after we shampoo it, so it creates a little bit of structure so I can then mold it and manipulate the hair into a shape that I wanna achieve.